In this lecture, we will be discussing another solved problem from regular languages and finite automata. And this question is from Gate 2012. All right, now let us see what is this question. So it says, consider the set of strings on 0, 1 in which every substring of three symbols has at most two zeros. For example, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 are in the language but 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 is not. All strings of length less than 3 are also in the language and a partially completed DFA that accepts this language is shown below. So, our task is to find the missing arcs in this DFA. So, this DFA is not complete and there are some missing arcs in this DFA and our task is to find out which is the missing arc. So, we will have four options A, B, C and D which I will be showing you later but before that let us first try to understand this question and what is the kind of language that is given over here. So it says the set of strings are from zeros and ones and then in this language every substring of three symbols has at most two zeros. That means if you take any string in this language and if you take a substring of any three symbols those three symbols should have at most two zeros. That means if you take a substring of three symbols, it should have not more than two zeros. At most, it can have only two zeros. If it has more than two zeros, then that string will not be in the language. For example, let us see this. In this string 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, if I take any substring of three symbols, that means if I take a combination of any three consecutive symbols, it will have only two zeros in it, not more than two zeros, right? So let's say that I am taking this first three symbols, 0, 0, 1. So if I take the 0, 0, 1, we see that in these three symbols, only two zeros are there. Or let's say that I choose the second, third and fourth symbols. Then even in this, it is 0, 1, 1. So we have only one zero in it. Now let's say that I am choosing the last three symbols, 1, 1, 0. So even in this, we see that there is only 1, 0. So, however I make the combinations, I see that if I take a substring of three symbols, it will only have at most two zeros. So, this string is accepted or this string is a part of the language that is given. So, now if you see even this string, you see that if you make a combination of three consecutive symbols, you are going to have at most two zeros only. Like for example, let's say that I take the last three symbols, 0, 0, 1. Here also, we are going to have only two zeros. So, these are the kind of strings that are accepted in this language. Now, if you look at this string over here, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Here, if I take the first three symbols, then there are only two zeros. It is okay. But if I choose the second, third and fourth symbols, if I make a combination of three symbols like this, we see that it is having 0, 0, 0. Three zeros are there. And this is not acceptable because we are allowed to have only two zeros at most in this language. So that is why this string is not in the language. So I hope you understood what is the meaning of the language given here. And it says all strings of length less than three are also in the language. That means any string whose length is less than three are also there in the language. And this is the partially completed DFA that is given. So it has a starting state E and it has states 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 and Q. And we see that among all of these, all these states except Q are final states. Q is not a final state and apart from Q, all the rest of the states are final states. Now let us look at this line. It says all strings of length less than 3 are also in the language. So you see that all strings of length less than 3 are also in the language because all of them are final states over here. Now we have to complete this DFA. So in order to complete this DFA, we need to find what are the missing arcs in this DFA. And we will be having four options which I will show you now. Alright, so these are the four options A, B, C and D. So these are the transition tables for the missing arcs. And we have to find out which is the correct transition table which will show all the missing arcs in this DFA. So we know what is this DFA. It should accept languages in which every substring of three symbols should have at most two zeros. 
so it should not have more than two zeros. Alright, so one method to solve this is you can look at this DFA and you can try to find all the missing transitions in these states and you can try to see all the possibilities and try to complete this DFA. But we know that that is going to take a lot of time. But as time also is an important factor in your examination, we will try to see how can we solve this problem in the minimum possible time. So for that, first of all, let us look at this DFA. So here we have the starting state E. And in E, if you get input 0, it goes to state 0. And in state 0, if it gets input 0 again, it goes to state 0, 0. And then in state 0, 0, we don't have transition for input 0 or 1. That means state 0, 0 is not complete. So if we are to complete the state 0, 0, let us see where should it go on getting input 0. So remember that in our DFA, we are not allowed to have three consecutive zeros coming together. So we should have only two zeros at most. So in this state 0, 0, when you reach the state 0, 0, we already have two zeros, 0 and 0. Now, if you get input 0 again in this state 0, 0, that string should not be accepted because it is going to be three zeros. We have one zero from here, second zero from here, and if you get one more zero, it is going to be three zeros. And if you get three zeros, then that string should not be accepted. Now, where should I send this transition? If you get zero in state zero, zero, I have to send it to state Q because Q is the only non-final state that we are having in this DFA. So on getting input zero in state zero, zero, if I send it to any other states other than Q, it will be accepted because all these states are accepting states or final states. So one thing for sure we can say is that if you get input 0 in state 0, 0, it has to go to this Q, which is a non-final state. So let me draw the transition. So if it gets input 0, it will go to this state Q. Now, this is something that we are sure of. All right. Now, before we proceed, let us see among these options, which are the options in which this transition is there. Now, if you look at this option A, we see that in state 0, 0, if you get input 0, it is sending it to state 0, 1. But no, we are supposed to send it to state Q. So option A is wrong. So it is out of our consideration. Now in option B, if you look at this, in state 0, 0, if you get input 0, it is also sending it to 0, 1, which is not acceptable. We have to send it to state Q. So B is also wrong and it is out of our consideration. Now we have options C and D. In option C, we see that in state 0, 0, when it gets input 0, it is sending it to state Q, which is what we just drew over here. So option C could be correct. And in option D also, the same thing is being done. In state 0, 0, when it gets input 0, it is going to state Q. So we have to now consider only states C and D. So this is how you can save your time during the solution of this problem. Instead of trying to design the entire missing arcs, you can just look at these options and proceed. So you don't have to consider option A and B anymore. And now our only question is between option C and option D. All right, now let us proceed with option C and see what happens. So in state 0, 1, that is this one. So in state 0, 1, we see that it has a transition for input 0, but for input 1, it does not have a transition. So it says that on input 1, it goes to state 0, 1 itself, itself. All right. So let's assume that it is correct and let us just go to the next transition. So here in state 1, 0, that means in this state, if it gets input 0, it is sending it to the same state 1, 0. That means in this state 1, 0, if it gets input 0, it is going to itself. Now let us see what is the problem with this. Let's say that we came like this from state E, we got input 1, then we got input 0. And if we get another input 0, we stay in state 0, 1. So let me write it over here. We got 1, 0, 1, 0. And then if you get input 0 here, we stay in state 1, 0 itself. Now let's say that we get one more 0. So if you get one more 0, what happens? It still stays in state 1, 0 because it is a self loop over here. And 1, 0 is a accepting state. So this string is going to be accepted. But we see that here we are having three consecutive zeros. So if I consider this substring of three symbols, 
it is having more than two zeros. So this is not acceptable. So that means this transition over here is not acceptable and it is wrong. So hence we can say that option number C is also wrong. All right, so we found out that C is wrong and now that leaves us with only one option which is option number D. So if you look at the question, we have options A, B, C and D. So the answer has to be one among these. So we found that A, B, C are wrong. So that leaves us with only option D and option D is the correct option. So if you want, you can draw the missing arcs using this transition table, but I will not be doing it right here. So this is how we can solve this problem using minimum amount of time without solving the entire thing. So now if we apply this option D and draw the missing arcs, we will see that the language that we had, which says that every substring of three symbols will have at most two zeros. So this will be satisfied and then our DFA will be complete. So the correct option is option D for this question. So I hope this was clear to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.